I just realized how Christmassy I look. <laughs> that was not my intention. Uh, but here we are. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Kiriel and today is day four of my Halloween week. I hope you've been enjoying the daily uploads so far. It's been quite fun for me actually, doing this more kind of creative content, stepping away from like more reviews and just playing with makeup. It's fun. Today we're gonna be doing the same thing, but it's gonna be a little bit more of a chatty video. I've been watching so much of like Bailey Sarian's videos and I just like watching her put on makeup, but also talk about something else. In her instance, it's true crime. Then also like Robert Walsh, she does about like ghost stories and stuff. And Jamie French as well. She He's been doing like movie reviews. My video today is gonna to be slightly similar to that, but more of a broader horizon. I'm not gonna be talking about any movies in particular, but I thought we would talk about scary movies, considering this is Halloween week. And I thought I'd do some makeup while I talk about it. I'm gonna list all the products down below in the description box where I'm gonna be just chatting today. And I saw this by Judas Tape. I don't know how I'm supposed to say that, but it's like a face shot from Instagram and it's kind of like a bloody looking clown And I thought I'd do my own version of it because why not? <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today If you like these kind of videos, please leave a thumbs up so I know and I'll definitely introduce more of them throughout my uploads If you're new, don't forget to subscribe hit the red button down below and the little bell button and that'll just notify you when I upload next so Without further ado, let's jump on in to the scary films and the makeup <laughs> All right Zoomed you guys in a little, I've got a glass of wine. And let's talk about some childhood trauma, shall we? <laughs> okay, so, scary movies. <laughs> I personally cannot watch scary movies. I have watched a few, <laughs> and I'll be getting into those today. But let's start from the beginning, shall we? So my first kind of scary film that I had an encounter with is Scream. I used to hang out with the neighborhood kids, you know, as you do. <laughs> and my neighbors opposite were older than me, but they went to the same school. So I kind of like hung around with them while I was little. So I was about five years old and I went over to their house and they've put on films just in general. And this time around, they decided to put Scream on. Now, don't ask me how they were able to get a hold of it because they were also not of age. <laughs> I didn't really watch that much of it. Like, I don't really know that much of the storyline. But here's the thing with me. I don't need to watch a film to get a gist of it. I have a very overactive imagination. Okay. And I can just picture things happening just by sounds. I don't actually need to see the visuals. Um, it's a curse. Really it is. <laughs> but I specifically still remember this scene from when I was five. Um, and it's the scene where I think someone runs into a car and it's like pouring down with rain and then the rain turns into blood and like a body rolls down the bonnet. I still remember that visual to this day and I, I didn't really want to see it. But anyway, I got scared and my mother had to come get me because I was cowering in the corner <laughs> crying over the film Scream. And like I was almost too scared to leave because I didn't want to move. I was just in my little corner. I was like, nope. I just want to hide away from the world. And that was a quite a young age. It's going to feel like a therapy session now. <laughs> I know Scream is one of those like cult favorite scary films. It's like a classic, but mm, I shouldn't be watching it five. Nope. <laughs> I probably had nightmares, but I'm not 100% sure because I literally, I probably blacked that out of my memory, but I do not remember a lot after that. I just remember the scene so vividly in my mind and I don't like it. I've personally been brought up on like Disney and that is my like happy place. I love Disney Channel. <laughs> Recess was my childhood. That's a raven. I binge watched that on Disney Plus. Lizzie McGuire. I had no business seeing screen, okay? <laughs> What's funny though is the next kind of scary film that I really recall is The Haunted Mansion by Disney. Now you're probably laughing thinking that is not scary and now it's not to me. <laughs> like it's one of my Halloween films that I watch like all the time but I went to go see it in the cinema for my 10th birthday I think it was and <laughs> I still remember why I was scared. I was fine up until the very part where it kind of started even getting remotely scary. <laughs> it's 
the part where Eddie Murphy is like got lost behind the walls in the mansion and then he finds a mirror and it's the bit where he turns away for a second, turns back and he's turned into like a skeleton. I ended up like running out of the cinema. This was like a time where we used to go to like the movies with like tons of children for like birthday parties and stuff. So you know when parents probably paid a lot of money <laughs> and I was just like nope, noped out of there like Naruto run just I was gone. <laughs> I think I did go back in and possibly watch the rest of the movie but I just remember being a 10 year old child and being like no. Obviously I look back now and I just kind of laugh, but yeah, I'm just like, I was just a complete and utter scaredy cat. I just, <laughs> I couldn't handle it. Going back to the Disney Channel, um, they always used to do like Halloween specials obviously. And I always remember the Lizzie McGuire one where they have the like Mexican doll episode and they're supposed to be like cursed and stuff. And that one <laughs> always used to scare me. It's honestly, it's like the stupidest stuff but it really does not take a lot to just like scare me and get my brain overthinking when it comes to like scary movies and stuff i'm just a gentle soul okay <laughs> i'm fragile so yes everything used to scare me that was you know stereotypically scary <laughs> fast forward a little bit to where i was like dating <laughs> i think i was like 15 when I started seeing someone and they really like scary films and I did not obviously and I remember we sat down and watched 13 ghosts I think it is and that was I mean the film I don't really remember much of it I'm gonna be honest like I remember it's ghosts and like cages and stuff and I think it's um I think it's like a remake of an old one but I'm not 100% sure. But I didn't pay much attention. I was like on my phone pretending to watch it, you know, but really was not watching it at all. But after that, it has like commentary on what the ghosts are like based off. And I have like an aversion to gory things, okay? It's one thing being scared. I can kind of cope with it. Like I don't wanna do it, but I can cope with it if you put me in that situation. Blood and gore is a completely <laughs> different thing. I hate it. <laughs> and so this commentary comes on afterwards. It like automatically played afterwards. And there was like descriptions on how these people died. And it was like talking about trigger warning. Okay, it's talking about like self harm and stuff like that. And just going into like great description of it. And I just remember like freaking out because I did not like it at all. Um, that was not a good day. Okay, I just tried to lighten my eyebrows a little, so I look a little bit insane right now. But yeah, so I freaked out with 13 ghosts. It's not the most pleasant of things. <laughs> but you know what? We get over it. Like, obviously it's- I don't think it's real. Well, obviously the movie isn't it like i'm not i'm not insane but i think the actual characters and the ghosts themselves might have been based off real things that happened which is not very comforting <laughs> but yeah did not like that one i personally don't understand the appeal of being scared it just sets my anxiety off like tenfold it's like insane i like to be in control of the situation <laughs> and with like scary movies and things i don't have control of my reactions and i don't like that at all and yeah it just gives me nightmares like i don't understand i'm aware i probably look insane at the moment hopefully this will all come together in the end uh i'm just gonna keep chatting you know and throwing eyeshadow just everywhere i just personally like to be in my little bubble and i i, I don't need to be scared to be happy you know what i mean <laughs> let's hope this is a work in progress because like I can't really look a little bit insane, but it, it's fine. Wish I actually had like an enticing story for you that I had like a script for because this video would just be a little bit more organized, but I don't. I'm just talking about why I'm a baby 
and I can't watch scary movies, okay? It's weird though because I watch actually quite a bit of gaming content on YouTube, just watching people play games and I can watch people play scary games. It's more when it's got like a intense storyline or something like that. Then I can't watch it because I think I get too invested in it. But still, I would rather watch like a sad, sappy kind of movie and like cry than get scared. I just, my body just rejects it. <laughs> Hard to know when to like actually stop and start with these videos so I can get through the makeup and don't run out of things to talk about. <laughs> the next film that I can recall is the one and only Paranormal Activity. I think it was the original one. Yeah, I think I've watched them both actually thinking about it now. Or oh, there's more than two isn't there? I don't I don't know. <laughs> but I watched the original one. It's weird. I can deal with more paranormal stuff than I can like gore and like jump scares and thrillers. Like I can watch more paranormal stuff than I can other genres of horror. <laughs> Again, I try to avoid it all, but <laughs> out of all of them I can watch the paranormal. I watched Paranormal Activity and it's one of those things where I watched it but I was not paying attention purposefully because I knew I didn't really want to watch it, you know? <laughs> but my current partner, who I've been with for like 10 years now, we watched it together because he wanted to watch it and he's not into watching scary films but he's up for it. <laughs> but I remember this so vividly because he still feels bad for it now. <laughs> we just finished watching Paranormal Activity and I was just like chilling and he was looking up alternative endings because there's different endings to the film and he was asking me to watch it and I was like no I don't want to watch it because I would have to then lower my guard and actually be attentive and watch it because we're not just chilling watching a film if you know what I mean. <laughs> I was like no and then he watched it by himself and I was just sitting there on my phone and he decided to jump scare me by grabbing my legs and going Rah! and after watching a scary movie I was already vulnerable <laughs> and I started crying. I was so scared. I don't bring it up but I know for a fact he feels bad about it because I was literally unconsolable. I was so like struck with fear that it overcame me and I just burst out crying. It was really bad. <laughs> he did not think I was that triggered by stuff like that but it really does affect me quite badly. <laughs> It's weird, like I like watching stuff like Most Haunted, if you've ever seen that, it's a UK program. Highly recommend, but it's, I mean, it's kind of more comical. It's like a paranormal investigation thing, you know, probably all staged and whatever, but it's just fun to watch. And they do get some paranormal activity, but it's not like scary, you know. I can deal with that kind of stuff, but when it's actually like people getting attacked and stuff. I'm just like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna see that really, do I? I don't know how well this is going, by the way. <laughs> I, uh, I look like a crackhead clown right now. <laughs> oh God, I look scary when I did that. Okay, I needed to get some direction on this look because I was getting a little bit lost. So <laughs> where was I? I cannot remember. <laughs> uh, another film that my current partner kind of made me go see was actually in the cinema. Like all of these have been like watched at home so far, you know, and I'm in the comfort of my own area <laughs> All with a friend at theirs um, And now we go into the big screen <laughs> Where I cannot escape the sounds. I cannot escape the visuals uh, It's right there right on my face. <laughs> I cannot Remember what it was called. I know it had something to do with Judas It had something to do with the eyes having walls. No, <laughs> the walls having eyes. I remember a girl like floats down. She's like almost like possessed. Um, and it turns out there's like a murderer in the basement or something. I don't know. All I know is there was a lot of noises <laughs> and I pretty much just had my face covered the whole time. I absolutely hated it. <laughs> Again, it's one of those things where I don't need to watch it. I can just imagine the plot with the sounds and everything and then the ending was just so not what I wanted because in the end you think they get away from it but it turns out they don't. The walls still have eyes. I don't know. <laughs> to be fair apparently that just wasn't a good movie anyway. <laughs> I'm just a baby. <laughs> I hope this look comes together in the end. 
thought this would be a kind of quick one to do but I have been sitting here for like two hours so <laughs> turns out I was wrong I'm trying to like not follow it to a T but also follow it to a T <laughs> I'm kind of making it like messy you know like this is very grungy makeup I don't think I've ever really done something this grungy I did my kind of like fortune teller last year this is a bit more messy and a bit more artsy I guess it almost feels like watercolor but that's because of the like blood streaks or whatever the heck these are supposed to be <laughs> but yeah going to the cinema to watch that film was pretty much the last kind of scary movie that I said I would watch what I reluctantly went to go see that film okay I warned him I was like you're gonna give me nightmares but he was like, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. We went with his friends and I was like, yeah, this is fine. It was not fine. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with these, by the way, they're just random. <laughs> so if you think I know what I'm doing, I definitely do not. <laughs> Hot, okay. <laughs> How cute, okay. Hmm. Hope this looks cool and scary in the end. Right now, questionable. <laughs> I don't know what else to talk about other than say uh yeah i just don't like scary films <laughs> it tickles <laughs> i'm just gonna go finish this look off camera and then we'll be back i think i've had enough therapy today um <laughs> and we spoke about a lot of things so i'll reveal the final look time I wore my hair in pigtails uh if ever okay so this is the finished look <laughs> I guess I'm a scary crying clown that kind of looks like I'm bleeding just what I always wanted to be you know <laughs> although I definitely think this look is a bit more scary than the previous ones I've done this week which you know is only fitting because we're getting closer to Halloween I found these gems at Tesco's as well they were like a pound they're little teardrop jewels but they're red and I think they went well with this look <laughs> yeah I hope you enjoyed this more chatty video where I talked about things that disturbed me as a child <laughs> um, and why I don't watch scary movies I appreciate people who do truly I think you're a little bit insane but you know we all like different things and we can still be friends <laughs> but yeah this whole video is just basically me telling you I'm a, a bit of a crybaby <laughs> and a scaredy cat but it's all good <laughs> anyway I'm gonna go now wash this all off because honestly I looked at myself in the mirror a second ago and I kind of freaked out <laughs> while I was doing my hair I was like oh it's uh, a little bit of a shock especially I think it's because the, of the eyebrows because they're kind of not there anymore yeah <laughs> anyway if you're enjoying this week's videos then please leave a thumbs up so I know if you're new to the channel this is a full week of videos I'm doing for you I'm uploading Monday to Friday on the week leading up to Halloween so if you enjoyed this video I'm gonna leave a playlist in the eye which is over here not here <laughs> And you can binge watch them if you want to and if you enjoy content like this then don't forget to subscribe all you need to do is hit the red button down below and the little bell button and that'll just notify you when i upload next which is going to be tomorrow but yeah i hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and i hope to see you on the next one till then bye guys <laughs>